Unfortunately, the greatest ob obstacle in Iraq to the growth of the private sector is the government, especially corruption and impenetrable bureaucracy. The barriers in front of Iraqi businesses and in front of foreign corporations who want to enter Iraq are enormous and well known. Everything is difficult, everything is expensive, and everything is time consuming. Iraq is going to face serious economic problems and demographic challenges in the very near future. By 2025, the population of Iraq will be twice what it was in 2000. Within 10 years, one million new young Iraqis will enter the job market every single year. And to accommodate these changes, this growth, the basis of Iraq's economy, the basis of political decision-making on the economy, and the basis of uh, the focus on the public sector must change. Because for at least the past two generations, Iraq's approach to solving economic problems has been to increase government spending. It focused on producing oil, collecting revenue in the Treasury, and hiring young Iraqis into government jobs or state-owned corporations. This policy is no longer possible. تخصيص مبلغ مليار دولار أمريكي كقروض تنموية ميسرة لتمويل مشاريع البنية التحتية اللازمة لمشاريع إعادة الإعمار عن طريق صندوق التنمية السعودي و500 مليون دولار أمريكي كتسهيل ائتماني لتمويل الصادرات السعودية للعراق بحيث بلغ إجمالي المساعدات التي أعلنت المملك التي أعلنتها المملكة مليار ونصف المليار دولار أمريكي هذا المؤتمر لازم يزرع الثقة بين المواطن العراقي والحكومة العراقية والحكومة العراقية والمجتمع الدولي أنه هذه المبالغ راحت في الأماكن المناسبة إلها